Dr. Yomi Aliyu, son, the lawyer to Son Igbo on Wednesday, narrated how the freedom fighter was arrested in Kotonou, Benin Republic, and was to be flown to Nigeria on a waiting helicopter. Mr. Aliyu, who spoke during a radio talk program on Ravel FM, Tad Frank Talk, said one of Igbo's brothers traveling with him before he was arrested was the one bundled into the plane heading to Germany, not Sunday Igbo. Describing how the freedom fighter was arrested, he said Sunday was already in the plane with his wife and the brother when someone pointed him out that he was wanted and he was forced out of the plane along with his wife and brother by security operatives. The legal practitioner said, as at the, today, Wednesday, Sunday Bowu is still in the police detention in Benin Republic, specifically in Cotonou. While they were fighting with the brother, he was bundled back into the plane heading to Germany. He was the one in Germany now, not Igbo. He was already in the plane in Cotonou on his way to Germany with his wife and his brother. He was there too. Somebody figured him out that he's a wanted person. He was brought down with the wife and the brother and a, a fracas ensued because it was to be flown to Nigeria by a standby helicopter. But the wife and the brother put up a fight and stated and started shouting at the airport, which attracted some Yoruba, some other Yoruba indigents, and they came to their rescue. He added that in his line of communication with Bo is indirect and deliberately decided not to travel to the country to avoid being embarrassed. He said, my communication with him is indirect. We don't want to create a situation where we now go to Cotonou and we'll be embarrassed for some other things. We know who is heading the police, who is the high commissioner of Cotonou. I can't go to that area now, but I spoke with him directly, indirectly anytime I want to speak with him. I have been speaking with him through somebody that I know. I don't belong to any group, neither Afina Fere, nor Odudua Nation. I am directly appointed by Sondigbo, not for any group, not for Odudua group, not for Afina Fere or anybody. In fact, my own philosophy is different from their philosophy but for professionally i am for igbo and for the rule of law nothing political he said change someone said yeah charge and be lawyer you can't travel to kotonu then what are you saying what kind of he law was that now they were is close from escaping from their enemies they were they was in the they were in the plane, not already in the air before they could come to their senses. We pray God Almighty help us out from this problem we are facing in this country. So if government government want to bring him, it's impossible. Who told you government is afraid of Kotonu? Hmm. Yorubas did well, kudos to them. Federal government will never succeed this time. Even the one they have succeeded already. They will fail this time. You see the reason why we are saying this government is our problem in this country. They always try to do everything they can to, to cut uh, cars and all that. Sonny Bowu is not a criminal and the federal government should not judge him as a criminal. What did he do? Did Sonny Bowu kill anybody? Is it because he stood for the truth? Sondigbo defended his people from the Fulani killers, killing and raping people in their bush. And that is why the governor, the government is afraid of, is, an, is, is angry of what Sunday Igbo did. He felt that Igbo chased his people out from the forest. All right, people are still talking. All right, someone said that yeah, President Muhammad Buhari is the demon we have in this country. Buhari brought 
banditry to this country. Buhari is the one sponsoring Boko Haram because he's good in rehabilitating them and reintegrated integrate them into the society. And these are the people on uniform, killing people in the southeast and all that. All right, someone said here, yeah, Igbo will not be extradited to Nigeria because if the government tried that, there is going to be war in this country. All right, Nigerians are still talking. My annoyed here is our Southwest leaders because of their ambitions. I am talking about Tinubu. He will not say he will not say anything happening now because he wants to become the president of Nigeria come 2023. And that is where he has failed because the Northerners can never ever give that to him. Tinubu has failed and other leaders in Southwest. All right, son, someone said, yes, Sondigbu is a nice person for standing for us, for defending us from those killers called Fulani headers. Sondigbu is not a criminal, and the Iranian government should leave him be. All right, someone said, yes, kudos to the universe. I love their spirit. They are very supportive in all things. The way they've been supporting Sondigbu shows the the togetherness, you know, that plays in with, between them. You can't find this in Southeast. Our leaders can never stood for us because they are looking at what is in Ghana must go. But they should not forget that time we all tell. All right, someone just dropped that. So guys, these are Nigerians' reactions to what Sunday Bowu's lawyer have just uh, reviewed. He said, as some other Yoruba indigenous came to fight for Sunday Bubu in the airport. Kudos to the Yorubas. That is good for being supportive. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly hit the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.